what is going on guys it is Panjano here and today I'm going to bring you guys a quick video showing you guys how to free up on about 30 to 90 plus gigabytes of storage space whether that be on an SSD or a hard drive with inside of any version of Windows. For this video we're going to be using Windows 10 but most of the steps do correlate with other Windows versions such as 7, 8 and 8.1. And for a quick and important disclaimer before we jump into the video, it's important that you guys double check everything that you're about to delete on your system. With inside of some of these steps, you're going to be deleting your own personal files in which you no longer need, which will be completely personal to your system. This will involve you going in and checking out files which will be completely unique to you. These could be video files, text files, or just documents in which you've left lying around. If for any reason you accidentally delete these and you don't double check what you're deleting when it comes to these steps, that is completely on you and I accept no liability for any data loss. This video is going to be showcasing you guys easy, free, and effective methods on freeing up excess storage space which is just being taken up on your PC causing slowdowns can also be causing a lot of stutter with inside of Windows and overall slowing down any games or demanding tasks. So to start off with inside of it what we can go ahead and do is actually navigate down into our file explorer we can start off by going over to the left hand side and clicking on this PC. With inside of here you'll then be seeing a list of all of your hard drives and SSDs or storage devices installed to this PC. At this moment you can take a quick note as to the gigabytes remaining free with inside of all of these to see how much of an improvement you make across the board at the end of this video. This video is mainly going to be focusing on your local disk C drives, but I'm also going to be sharing techniques on how to free up storage space on other drives as well, but primarily the local disk C drive as this will have the biggest performance impact. So to start off with the cleanup, what we're going to be doing is actually minimizing out of this PC, and we can start off by going to the bottom left hand side and typing in percent %temp percent just like so and then pressing enter you then be brought inside of the windows local temporary folder this is basically the recycling bin for all of your application data with inside of windows for some of you guys out there who haven't actually manually come inside of this folder before you could be looking at around about 10 plus gigabytes of data in this folder alone pretty much everything inside of this folder isn't being used by windows and it's just taking up necessary storage space so what we're going to be doing is highlighting all the folders and files with inside of here dragging all the way down right clicking and selecting delete You'll then ask for the administrator permission, click do this for all current items and hit continue. You're more than likely going to be met with this warning found here. Just simply select this for do this for all current items and hit skip. Once you guys are done with inside of there, the only folders and files remaining are the only ones which were actually being used by Windows. Everything else was an excess caching file, dump file and wasn't being used by Windows whatsoever and it was just taking up space on your PC. At that point we can exit out, take ourselves up to the top left hand side and empty the recycling bin. Proceeding on from that step, what we can now go ahead and do is actually delete the prefetch data with inside of our PC and this data basically allows Windows and your hard drive or SSD to communicate as to where programs are located so they can open up faster. The problem with this prefetch data is that after a long time of it being installed with inside of Windows this can sometimes get outdated and completely slow down. So what we're going to be doing is removing all of the old data so it can generate brand new data whenever you boot up the programs you most use. This might mean that the first couple of times you boot programs in which you frequently use it can take a little bit longer than usual, but by around about the second or third time you boot the programs it should be faster than ever. So to do this what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing run. Once you've typed that, go ahead and press enter. Inside of the run box we're then going to be typing in prefetch just like so. Then go ahead and press OK. You'll then be asked for permission, just simply go ahead and press OK. Then with inside of here, what we're now going to be doing is actually highlighting all folders and files with inside of here, going all the way down to the bottom, right clicking and selecting delete. You'll then be given the notification saying that this cannot be completed for all files and folders with inside of here, just hit do this for all current items and hit skip once again. At this point we can go ahead and exit out of the prefetch folder, go over to the recycling bin and empty the recycling bin once again. Proceeding on from here for one of the most important steps with inside of this video, especially seeming that the Windows 10 May update has just released, so most of you guys are more than likely running on a brand new version of Windows. At this point what we can go ahead and do is navigate back down to the file explorer found here in the bottom left hand side, and again go to this PC. To start off with inside of this PC, what we're going to be doing is going ahead to our local disk C drive, but you can apply these optimizations to the other drives installed to your system as well. To start off, we're going to go to our C drive, right click, and select the properties tab. With inside of here, we're going to take ourselves down to the general tab, and start off by selecting the disk cleanup tool. After a few moments the disk cleanup utility will then open up, what we're going to do is proceed to check every single box with inside of here, and we can then take ourselves down to clean up system files. Then once you guys have cleaned up your system files, take yourself over to the selection boxes once again, and select all boxes in which have reappeared. Once you guys are done with inside of there, we can then take ourselves down to the OK option and delete the files with inside of here. This might take a few moments time, so do be patient, as it will depend on the speed of your hard drive or SSD. If you guys have recently updated Windows, again, make sure that you are happy with this version of Windows, as once you delete your Windows old folder, you will not be able to revert back the version of Windows in which you're running on. Proceeding on from there, we can then go ahead and press yes to this warning. After a short while the Windows Disk Cleanup utility will then be completed and you should be good to continue on. At this point what we can also do for our local disk C drive is take ourselves down to the tools utility and go into the error checking option and select check. 
You can then scan your drive for any errors and issues it might have, and Windows will automatically attempt to fix any issues your drive might be having. This isn't a necessary step to free up storage space, but it's always best practice assuming that you're already in here to ensure that your drive is running to the best of its ability. At this point, we can go ahead and close. We can then proceed to take ourselves down to the Optimize and Defragment Drive option found here and select Optimize. Inside of here, we can select our Windows C drive, and what you guys can actually go ahead and do is for the following steps, you can actually apply these to all of the drives down with inside of here, depending on how many drives you wish to do. The one we're mainly interested in doing is doing our C drive, but for any of you guys who have a little bit of extra time, you can proceed to repeat these steps for all drives with inside of here. So go ahead and select your C drive and select the Optimize button. Once you guys have optimized your drives, the drive status should then come up to OK, or it might say that there is a percentage fragmented. If there's a percentage fragmented, you'll have the defrag option with inside of here. Select defrag, wait for the drive to be completely repaired, and you're good to go. Like I said, you can repeat the steps for all drives found with inside of here. You might only have the one drive, you might have more or less than me, but don't matter. But just make sure that you do your C drive. We can then proceed to exit out of this option, and we can exit out of the local disk properties. Another very fast and effective optimization for any of you Spotify users, what you can actually go ahead and do is actually navigate down into the bottom left hand side. You can actually go ahead and type percent, app data, percent, just like so, and press enter. What you can then go ahead and do is navigate to the top to where it says app data with inside of here. Go inside of app data, go into the local folder, scroll all the way down with inside of the local folder to the P section, and you're going to be looking for packages. Go inside of packages, and we're then going to scroll down to the S section. You should then be seeing Spotify AB Spotify Music. Go inside of this folder. With inside of it, you can then take yourself over to the local cache, then go down to the Spotify folder, go into data. What you can then proceed to go ahead and do is highlight all of these folders with just two digits, so it might be a digit and a number. As long as the folders look like this, go all the way from the top to the bottom, right click, and select delete. This is just unnecessary Spotify caching data, which usually takes up around about 10 plus gigabytes on its own. Especially for most of you guys out there that are probably using a 120 gigabyte SSD as their C drive, this alone is taking up around about 10% of your data. Once you guys are done with inside of there, we can then go ahead and exit out, and again, go over to the recycling bin and empty the recycling bin. Now do bear in mind if you have Spotify open at this point, or if you try to play a song on Spotify at this point, it might not work. If that's the case, after this video, just simply restart your PC and everything will be working absolutely fine. But sitting on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually navigate back inside of our file, Explorer and head into this PC. Once you guys are with inside of here, we can actually use a very smart technique built with inside of Windows to find excess big files on our PC in which we can remove and which we no longer need. So to do this, what you guys can go ahead and do is you can actually search for this in the top right hand side now, but if you wish to search for files within a specific hard drive, for instance, if you only want to delete things inside of your C drive, click on the drive first. So I only wish to delete things with inside of my C drive, so I'm going to be going inside of my C drive. Once you guys are inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is navigating to the top right hand side to the search local disk C drive, and we're going to type in size colon gigantic just like so once you guys have typed that in give windows a couple of minutes as it's going to be finding all files over four gigabytes and it should provide them within a list inside of here once size gigantic has thrown up all files over four gigabytes on your pc do bear in mind this can take longer especially if you're searching for the entire computer but if you're just searching with inside of your local disk c drive or one specific hard drive this shouldn't take too long but once it's finished searching you've now got a list of all folders and files with inside of your pc in which are over four gigabytes at this point you can take yourself down inside of your list and you can locate files in which you no longer need for some of these files if you do happen to have any of these pack files inside of here these are usually going to be game installation data so if you remove them you'll more than likely have to reinstall the game so i'd recommend keeping these. But for me, I can already see that Splitgate Pass 3 is a file I no longer need, so I can go ahead and delete this file. You can then proceed to scroll down and you can have a look again. I no longer need to see of Thieves Pass 3, so I'm also going to be deleting that file. And again, these are completely unique files to your PC. No two people watching this video are going to have the same files, so make sure that you're completely okay with losing this file, and if you no longer need it, make sure that you go ahead and remove it. Again, triple check that you are okay with removing the files. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. But I would recommend coming in here and being stern with this and removing as much of this as you possibly can. If for any reason there's any files with inside of here and you're not entirely sure what they are, leave them in place. Only delete the files in which you're completely sure about. Once you guys are done with inside of here, we can then take ourselves up to the top right hand side and exit out of that folder. We can then proceed to go over to our recycling bin once again, and if there's anything in there, empty the recycling bin. Proceeding on from there, that now brings us on to one of the most important optimizations and storage cleaning devices found with inside of this entire video. To follow along with this step you guys will need to take yourself down into the description down below and find the link for ccleaner this is a completely free lightweight and easy to use program and i'd highly recommend it for absolutely everyone watching this video regardless of your operating system or version of windows regardless if you're running on a high-end gaming pc or an old potato laptop you should always have this program installed as it is vital in terms of maintaining your system making sure that everything can run to the best of its ability and removing any excess rubbish from your pc to keep it fresh and responsive so find the link located in the description down below and take yourself over to the free download tab found with inside of here Navigate over to the left hand side to see Cleaner Free and select the download option in the bottom left hand side. Once again, scroll all the way down and select download. At this point, the installer should then download to your PC. Go ahead and open it up. 
Once the installation has opened up, take yourself into the bottom left hand side and actually uncheck the option to install a vast free antivirus as we don't want this. We can then take ourselves back up to the top and select the install button. Once the program has been installed, uncheck the view release notes and hit run CCleaner. You'll then find a shortcut on your desktop. Once CCleaner has opened up, this can look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually very easy and effective to follow along with. To start off, what we're going to be doing is navigating to the top left hand side and selecting the Easy Clean tab. But inside of here, we can then go down to Analyze and select Analyze. At this point, if you do have a web browser open, and which I presume you do because you're watching this video, I'd recommend actually hitting Skip All to the options which come up here, and it will then analyze everything else besides your web browser data. After a few moments time the easy clean will complete itself, after the analysis has been completed you'll be given a rundown of all of the trackers it's found and the amount of excess junk data which can be removed safely from your PC. And as you can see CCleaner can already remove 14.46 gigabytes of data from my C file. At this point what we can do is navigate down to the bottom and select clean all. Once the clean has then been completed, we can take ourselves over to the left hand side and go into the tools tab. But inside of here we can then start off by going into the uninstall tab found here at the top. The uninstall tool found with inside of CCleaner is much better than the one built inside of Windows. This allows you to remove many more programs and a lot more programs actually show up with inside of here. Again, starting from the top all the way down to the bottom, most of the programs and files found with inside of here are going to be completely unique to your PC and you'll have to decide on your own whether or not you wish to remove them. What I would recommend to any of you guys watching this video is if you do not know what anything is for any reason, or you're not entirely sure if it's important, if you don't know exactly what it is, do not remove it. For instance, if you see stuff like Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead and you no longer play it, find stuff like this, highlight it, go to the top right hand side and select the uninstall button. Take around about 5-10 to 10 minutes to go through here and click on everything you no longer need, whether it's Candy Crush Saga which is actually built in with inside of Windows 10 installations these days, just stuff like that, excess games, programs which you no longer use, take the time, take the time to come through here and uninstall them and remember to be harsh with this and remove absolutely everything in which you know you're no longer going to be using. Once you guys have had a good clean out with inside of the uninstall tool, with inside of CCleaner, what we can then go ahead and do is actually exit out of CCleaner as we no longer need to use that program. My advice would be to use CCleaner around about once every month to three months at the absolute max. Take yourself in there, it takes only a couple of minutes, run the easy clean and also uninstall any excess programs which you no longer use. That way you can stay on top of system maintenance and keep a lot of storage space free with inside of your PC, alongside keeping it fresh and responsive. For another extremely quick and effective step in which most people actually miss out on because it's so obvious, you guys can take yourself into the file explorer found in the bottom, Take yourself over to the downloads folder and delete pretty much everything found with inside of here which is not important. For most of you guys watching this video you're more than likely going to be finding stuff like the CCleaner install with inside of here, any excess drivers in which you've downloaded, just tons of installation files in which don't actually automatically get removed from your PC unless you do it yourself. Take yourself through the downloads folder and remove anything you no longer need in which you are completely certain of in which you no longer need. As you can see here, the CCleaner setup is actually 20 megabytes. If you had 10 installation folders, that's already 200 megabytes. And at that point, we're already talking about a quarter of a gigabyte. So take yourself in here and delete any of the excess files and folders with the inside of your download folder, in which are no longer needed. That now brings us on to the last step with inside of this video. For the last and final step, we're going to be navigating back inside of our file explorer found here at the bottom and navigating over to this PC one last time. Now for the following step, I'd recommend doing this to all other drives on your PC besides your C drive. What we're going to be doing is actually applying the Windows compression techniques to all the other drives with inside of our PC. The reason we wish to avoid doing this with inside of our C drive is because it's where Windows is installed to, so we don't want to risk compressing anything and making anything run slower. But for your other hard drives in which are just holding data, such as video files in which you rarely use, we can compress that data making it a lot smaller, a lot more efficient with inside of our PCs, to free up a ton of extra storage space without actually losing any files. So make sure that you do not use the C drive for this optimization. For instance, I can take myself over to one of my other hard drives I have installed to my PC, and I'm actually going to be starting off with my one terabyte hard drive. Again, you can repeat this step for all storage devices with inside of here, except your C drive. What you want to do is find the drive you're going to be compressing, right click and select properties. With inside of here, we can then take ourselves down to the bottom and select compress this drive to save disk space, and press apply. We're then going to go ahead and select the bottom option to apply the changes to all subfolders and files and press OK. It'll then ask you for administrative privileges, go ahead and press continue. Depending on the speed of the drive and how much data is on it, this can take a little while so you might want to do this when you're not really at your PC or if you're doing other activities as this can take a while but it's definitely worthwhile doing. For any of you guys out there who have really big hard drives or are running quite slow, I'd recommend probably doing this overnight. Once that drive is then being compressed, again you can come in here and repeat the steps for the other drivers with inside of your PC. Now there's one last thing left to do and that's to actually check on your results. As you remember earlier on at the start of this video I recommended you guys jot down what the hard drive space free was inside of your local disk C drive and other drives. At this point you can take yourself to the top right hand side and click the refresh button and see how much disk space we actually managed to free up. 
For me, this was around about 50 gigabytes at the start, which was remaining free, and now I have 95. So that's, so that's around about 45 gigabytes for me, and this is already running on a very highly optimized PC. For some of you guys out there who have not done much system optimization yourselves, and don't really tinker around with stuff like this usually, you could be seeing absolutely phenomenal gains. So make sure that you do take yourself into the comment section down below and let me know how much you actually managed to free up, not just with inside of your C drive, but other drives as well. Again, make sure that you do repeat some of these techniques found with inside of this video around about once every month or so to ensure that you stay on top of it and you no longer have this buildup of excess data on your PC. And that concludes my guide on how to quickly and effectively free up around about 30 to 90 plus gigabytes of storage with inside of any Windows PC. If you guys did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please leave a like on the videos, it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content in that comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys, and I'm curious as to what your results are. Alongside that, if you guys do enjoy my content and wish to stay updated with the channel, please do consider pressing that subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of when I upload. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. Hopefully you've been more than pleased with it. I'm Panjano, and I'll see you in the next one.